Okay. So today's lesson builds on the lesson of the circle of fifths when we want to learn our key signatures. So we're going to be talking about key signatures. Just like time signatures are for the rhythmic element of organizing your notes, well, key signatures are the pitch element to organizing your notes. At the beginning of each piece of music, um, you're going to see something like this. And it can be up to seven flats, as we know from our lesson on the order of sharps and flats. We can also have sharps, up to seven sharps. And they always come in the same order. These are called key signatures. They tell you what note is the most important note, and they also tell you which notes are sharp or flatted. There are various ways to learn how to recognize that. I think the easiest is the circle of fifths. If you know your circle of fifths, you'll know your sharps and flat key signatures. Sharp and flat key signatures. So, key of C, neutral. You're going to see zero sharps and zero flats. You can write this down on your page. Key of G is going to be one sharp. If you see one sharp, you are in the key of G. G is the most important note. G is the most important chord. If you see the key of D, it is two sharps. Key of G, key of D. And so we would say the key of D has two sharps. What are they? F sharp and C sharp. And we keep reviewing the order. Key of A, three sharps. You say the key of A has three sharps. What are those sharps? F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and they come in that order. Key of E, four sharps. What are they? F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. And this order of sharps just continues as we learned in the other lesson. Key of B, now I'm on the green ones down here. The key of B is gonna be five sharps. We added an A sharp. Key of F sharp is gonna be six sharps. We add in an E sharp, and the key of C sharp is going to be seven sharps. We add in a B sharp, a lemon out of it. That's it. So you have seven sharps, so you have uh, seven flats on this side, but C is zero, C is neutral. So if I ask you what is the key of four sharps, you would say? E. Key of E. If I ask you what is the key of six sharps, you would say F sharp. Don't say F because F is up here. You have to say F sharp. And if I ask you what is one sharp, you would say G. key of G. And you've learned these scales too. Now let's go to the other side. Flats. F is going to be one flat, and I'll draw them here. Key of F has one flat. What is it? B flat. There it is, order of flats. B flat has two flats. What are those flats? B flat, E flat. Key of E flat has three flats. What are they? B flat, E flat, A flat. The key of A flat has four flats. What are they? B flat, E flat, A flat. Sorry, that's a D flat. The key of D flat, now I'm going to put a slash here so that I know, and since I've got them in colors, I see which is which. That's going to be five flats for D flat. What are they? They're B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. Now there's a little pattern going on here. I'll show you in a moment. Uh, when we get to G flat, we got six flats. When we get to C flat, we've got seven flats. Here they are and then we stop at seven. You can actually go beyond seven sharps and flats, but that gets a little bit more technical and we won't cover that here. Now, to help you memorize, you might notice that C has zero sharps and flats, C flat has seven sharps and flats, and C sharp has seven, I'm sorry, seven flats, C sharp has seven sharps. So C is either zero or seven. All the rest of them, you just kind of memorize.
And away it goes the circle. The circle of fifths is a crutch to help you memorize your key signatures. You don't want to always have to think of the key circle of fifths. You want to know it so well and your key signatures so well that you just have them memorized. Four sharps, key of E. Five flats, key of D flat. You just want to know that. But this is one way that you can memorize it. Here's another way you can memorize your key signatures. There's only 15. The second to the last flat in the order is the key you're in. What's the second to the last flat? E. E flat. This is the key of E flat. The second to the last flat will always tell you what key you're in, except in this case, when you simply have to memorize, that's the key of F, because there is no second to the last flat. What key is this? Second to the last flat is D flat. Therefore, this is the key of D flat. Five flats. What key is it now? G. The key of G flat, because that's the second to the last flat. Question. Does it count for sharps too? No, sharps are different. In sharps, you're going to look at the last sharp in the order. And then you're going to go up one note from there, one half step, and you're going to have the key you're in. The last note is C sharp. What's a half step higher than C sharp? D. So this is the key of D. You always look to the last sharp, not to the second to the left. What key is this? half step higher than D sharp would be e. e, so this is the key of E. And that's how sharps work. That's how sharps and flats work. Memorize all your key signatures. It will serve you well. Thank you.